تفضل تفضل اخي ماجد انا معك بس السيدات كمان تعالوا مجموعه من السيدات تعالوا معنا ايفري بودي تعالوا Hello everyone. As you see, this is a very huge, impressive demonstration of a, a large delegation from the Arab group, a large delegation from the OIC, a large delegation from uh, NAM, and a large delegation from the Committee on the Exercise of the Inalienable Rights of the Palestinian People. We started the day with an emergency ambassadorial meeting of the Arab group. The Arab group is totally united behind Jerusalem and Al-Aqsa Mosque and Al-Haram al-Sharif. Then we had at one o'clock an OIC meeting of the Islamic group and the Council of uh, Islamic group uh, ambassadors totally united in the defense of Jerusalem and Al-Aqsa Mosque and Al-Haram al-Sharif the same thing with NAM, in which uh, state uh, uh, paragraphs were recited from the summit in Baku, and uh, the Committee on the Exercise of the Inalienable Rights and its leadership, who are totally committed for justice to the Palestinian people, were present in these meetings, and they made their voice loud and clear. We just concluded a meeting with the President of the Security Council. And then he, when he saw about 50 delegations in the room, he was impacted and he said, I feel your outrage and your anger, and I am super impressed by this massive support uh, at the level of the international community. Tomorrow, the request that was uh, put on the table uh, in a combined way by the State of Palestine and the delegation of Jordan, our brothers, to have an emergency meeting of the Security Council advanced by United Arab Emirates, the Arab representative in uh, the Security Council supported by China, France, and Malta so far, was uh, uh, received in a positive way by the President of the Security Council, and as you know by now, there will be an emergency Security Council meeting tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the Chamber of the Security Council. The State of Palestine and the Palestinian people are so grateful for this massive support that you see before you, uh, you know, uh, demonstrated by our brothers and sisters in the Arab countries, in the OIC countries, in NAM countries, in the countries and members of the Committee on the Exercise of the Inalienable Rights of the Palestinian People, and almost all countries in all corners of the globe are saying that the international community is the party to decide the fate of the two-state solution. It is the international community that decides the fate of defending and protecting the historic status quo in Jerusalem in the defense of the Islamic and the Christian sites in Jerusalem. The attack is not only against our holy sites in Al-Aqsa Mosque and in the Haram al-Sharif. There are, because of this environment of extremism that this Israeli extreme government, the extremist in the history of Israel is providing, is leading to additional aggression against our Christian sites, Christian graveyards. You've seen by now that there are crosses over, you know, graveyards being trampled upon and attacked by extreme settlers. This is a toxic environment, the international community has to speak with one voice in rejecting this extremism, in rejecting those terrorists and those elements of fascists in the Israeli government, and we will not be satisfied 
with beautiful statements which will be uttered tomorrow in the Security Council. We want them to be implemented in a concrete way. We want this behavior not to be repeated on Al-Aqsa Mosque and on Haram Sharif, and we want a guarantee of honoring and respecting the historic status quo in deeds, not only in words. This is the message that you see, as they say, a picture speak much louder than 1,000 words. Let me just say a few things in Arabic and I will give my brother Mahmoud and other uh, leaders of groups to say what they want to say. Nahnu nashkur hadihi al risala al qawiyya min al mujtama al duwali min ashiqa'ina fi al majmua al arabiyya wa ikhwatina fi al majmua al islamiyya wa min asdiqa'ina fi munadzama al ta'awun al islamiyya fi al harakat adam al inhiyaz wa kadalik lajna al falastin al lajna al maaniya bi mumarasa al shaab al falastini li hukuku al ghair qabil li tasarruf al jamia yaqifuna waqfa tarajul wahid في التصدي لهذا التطرف الذي تجلبه الحكومة الإسرائيلية والعناصر الفاشية من وزراء كابن غفير الذي دنس المسجد الأقصى هذه الوقفة التي تجلت بسلسلة اجتماعات عربا ومسلمين ومع رئيس مجلس الأمن قبل قليل الذي عبر عن, عن اه شعوره بأن هذه الرسالة القوية من هذا الجمع الغفير تركت آثارها في نفسه وعبر عن انصياعه أو موافقته على الطلب الفلسطيني الأردني بعقد اجتماعا طارئا لمجلس الأمن غدا يوم الخميس الساعة الثالثة نحن ممتنون للجميع ولكل الذين عبروا عن هذه المواقف ولكن ما نريد ليس فقط خطابات جميلة غدا تلتف حول وتؤيد الوضع القانوني والتاريخي في الأماكن المقدسة الإسلامية والمسيحية في القدس ولكننا نريد الترجمة العملية لكل هذه المواقف ونشكر الإعلام نشكركم جميعا على التواجد معنا لتغطية هذا التضامن وهذا الالتفاف الهائل في الأمم المتحدة مع الشعب الفلسطيني مع القدس مع الحرم الشريف مع المسجد الأقصى وغدا سنكمل المشوار في مجلس الأمن ونتحدث معكم كذلك بعد جلسة مجلس الأمن لأننا لا نريد لهذه الحكومة المتطرفة أن تفرض إرادتها على المجتمع الدولي يجب أن تنصاع لإرادة المجتمع الدولي وتحترم الوضع القانوني والتاريخي نشكركم مرة أخرى وأخي محمود سعادة سفير المملكة الأردنية الهاشمية فليتفضل أشكرك أخي رياض I thank you for coming during this season where there is not too much uh, work at the uh, at the United Nations. Jordan uh, is extremely concerned of the incursion that took place by uh, Minister Ben Gafir, the minister in the Israeli government. This is an action of extremism that is uh, that purports to create a new cycle of violence. The Security Council has to take its responsibility seriously and stop such attempts. Uh, Jordan. Uh, is assuming its responsibility. His Majesty King Abdullah is the custodian of the Islamic and Christian holy shrines. And Israel has been committed or committed itself to respect the historic and legal status quo and to respect the rule of international law and its obligations under international law. But unfortunately, what's happening is a minister of the Israeli government is doing another incursion into the Aqsa Mosque and violating Israel's legal obligations. And there has to be a firm stand by the international community against this because it will happen again. And once it will happen again, a new cycle of violence will ensue. As I mentioned to colleagues, in, in 2000, another Israeli minister did an incursion and the Security Council took, adopted Resolution 1322 
at that time condemning this incursion. That incursion was by Minister Sharon, and what led then to the Second Intifada. Thank you. Uh, my brother, the chairman of the Organization of Islamic Conference, Ambassador Khan from Pakistan. Thank you. Uh, I, I just want to express uh, the OIC group's uh, condemnation of what has happened on 3rd of January. And I just want to share with you that the group was convened today at the request of um, Dr. Yad Mansoor and all the permanent representatives who are present along with me uh, in their national capacities, they attended the meeting. They condemned this act. And there was a strong demand from all the OIC countries that such acts have to be stopped. And they have to be stopped forthwith. And we have to deal with such situations with the strength and the force of the international law, which clearly outlines such illegal acts. We also met afterwards with the President of the Security Council. And we've been informed that tomorrow at 3 PM, as Dr. Riyad Mansoor has already informed, uh, the Security Council is going to have an emergency briefing on this issue. So we have conveyed our request to the President of the Security Council that we, as individual country members, as well as on behalf of OIC, want to make a statement. We want to participate. And we want to express the deep anguish which is prevailing all across the Muslim world. And in doing so, we expect the Security Council to stand to the, to raise to the occasion and take its responsibility and call spade a spade. For too long, the Palestinian people and the question of Palestine has suffered at the Security Council. And tomorrow, it's going to be the test of the result of the Security Council. We have often talked about the application of UN Charter principles. So this is a test, how we apply those principles. Do we apply them fairly? Do we apply them with the same yardstick that we apply in other situations? So tomorrow, we will see how the Security Council is going to react to that. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, my dear brother, uh, Sheikh Niang, the chairman of the Committee on the Exercise of the Inalienable Rights of the Palestinian people. I thank you, uh, Mr. Minister, and I would like to say how pleased I am to be at this uh, uh, joint uh, press conference and that I also concur with what all, all that I have said about this very grave violation we have uh, witnessed and seen uh, with uh, the desecration of uh, Al-Aqsa Mosque. I'm going to post you in French and say here that uh, je suis uh, très ravi de la mobilisation uh, qui uh, est en cours depuis ce matin tel que démontré par euh, le groupe arabe, l'OCI, euh, par euh, des organisations comme le NAM, euh, des organisations comme, euh, comme, comme par exemple le comité que je, je dirige. Je pense que, comme on l'a dit tout à l'heure, l'heure est extrêmement grave. Il est important que la communauté internationale se saisisse de cette question, que cette question ne soit pas banalisée et que ce qui a été fait à la mosquée d'Alas ne soit pas minimisé. Ça pourrait être le début d'une série qui risque de mettre davantage le feu aux poudres. La situation en Palestine a été désastreuse depuis de très longues années. On ne peut pas nous permettre cette euh, violation de plus qui risque donc de créer, comme je l'ai dit, une série qui va envenimer la situation sur place. Je pense que le moment est venu pour le Conseil de sécurité de prendre ses responsabilités. Le Conseil de sécurité, comme étant le garant moral de l'ordre mondial, doit prendre ses responsabilités. On ne peut pas impunément violer la loi internationale. On ne peut pas impunément faire un affront à toute une communauté de foi, faire affront à un peuple, faire affront à la vérité et rester inactif. Donc nous nous attendons demain à ce que les positions vraies soient affirmées, à ce que cette question qui a été posée par cette violation grave que cette question soit adressée de la manière la meilleure possible. Je vous remercie. Nashkorokom, uh, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. And uh, we will see you tomorrow evening. No questions at this time. We have a large army. So we will see you tomorrow. Good night.